Hey everybody, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies, bringing you another training video. Um, today what we want to cover and what we're going to show is our process for marketing open houses. So if you're wanting to drive more traffic to your open house, get more, uh, more visitors, more buyers, more potential sellers, uh, all of that is great and we're going to show you how to do that today. So um, as always, if you like the video, give us a like, that always helps us. Uh, leave a comment below if there's something that you want to, uh, to learn in the future or if you have questions about something, be happy to answer those in the comments below. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen and we will get right at it. So with open houses, the strategy that we'd like to use on Facebook is we like to use events to market the open houses on Facebook, a couple of reasons. Number one, when you use an event on Facebook, um, the first thing is that there's a notification system. So um, what happens is, when people have said that they're going to go, that they're going to go, or that they're interested, they're going to receive notifications of um, saying, "Hey, this event is coming up, and you said you won't, you were interested," and so it will remind them. So having a nice built-in reminder system is very helpful. The other thing that you, uh, the other thing that's beneficial about setting it up as an event is that Facebook has a special type of ad for um, events for being able to market those. And so we can utilize that system as well to get more uh, event responses. So um, with all of that being said, basically what happens, let me see if I can find a uh, notification here. Um, so see how this is saying that there's people that have uh, responded to events and uh, hey, this event is happening. Hey, reminder, you have an event coming up. So those are the kinds of things that will happen when you start using events. So. What happens is it's just as if you were going to come in and make a post, but the biggest difference is you're gonna click on these dots, which opens up this menu, and you're going to click on create an event. Now, the basic process is for the event photo, I like to use a, a photo of the exterior of the home. So let me go find uh, an exterior home photo. Um, that works. And so that's a good uh, photo for the, for the open house. Now for the event name, I like to put in open house. Uh, and then I like to just add a little bit of uh, details about the home. So the city is uh, important. So I could do something like Sandy, uh, five bed, two bath. And then I would also put the price, right? So something like that is what I would do. For the location, I'm gonna put the actual address of the property. So let's say that this is 123 Main Street in Sandy. Okay. And then for the occurrence, the occurrence is going to be the actual date and time of the open house. So uh, today's 13th of August. Let's say I was doing an open house on Saturday. Uh, let's say I was doing it from 11 to 2. And so that would uh, probably 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. That would work a little better. Okay, so we've got it scheduled from Saturday from 11 to two. Uh, this is going to occur once and I've got the address, the details, that's enough to get them excited and get them to come. For the category, I'm going to use home because that's the closest category that there is. And in the description, uh, this is where I would put the information about the home, uh, trying to sell it. <laughs> So this would be like your MLS type description, you know, come see this open floor plan, uh, you know, stainless steel appliances, upgrades, blah, 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 blah. For keywords, most people aren't searching by keywords, but the only one that's real relevant anyway is real estate. Uh, you can check that kid friendly box, which means it's going to show up in people that are, um, people that aren't adults. Frankly, I don't think there's too many 16 or 18 year old kids who, uh, who care about that, but that's okay. We're not going to be marketing to them anyway. I just mark that so parents know it's okay to, to bring kids if they want. I do like to turn on the messaging so that people can um, send me a message about the event if they have questions. Tickets, obviously not appropriate for this type of an event, so you can skip that. And then the co-host, this is kind of a cool feature. So sometimes agents will do uh, an event or an open house where they are partnering with their mortgage lender. And so the lender will come and you know they're pre-qualifying people and talking to people on the spot. And so if you're doing that, you can tag them. So let me uh, 
here's a lender that I'm connected with. So doing that, it would tag her if I hit the publish button, I'm not going to, but it would allow her to be able to market the event uh, to her following as well, just to get more publicity, more people there. Uh, and so co-hosts, that can be a very cool feature if you're partnering up with, with someone for the open house. So I'm just gonna turn that off. Uh, I do like to have the display guest uh, or the guest list displayed so that people can see who's coming, who said they're interested, et cetera, et cetera. So once that's done, I would just go ahead and hit publish. And then that creates the event. Okay, so what happens is there's this uh, interested and in going, I'm going to click that I'm going. And you'll notice that this is the guest list. So it says that uh, you've got people that are interested, people that are going, and you can also invite people. So here is the invite. So you can either invite friends, which if I pick that option, I can invite everybody, I can invite certain lists that I have, and uh, you can invite people one by one. So that's a good way to potentially invite some of the prospects or maybe some of the clients you're currently working with. Um, just to get some, some additional people there. Uh, the other thing that I would do inside the event is there's this discussion tab where you can post. So in here, this is where I would come in and I would add some of the photos of the home, right? So I would do something like that. And then again, this would just be more of my uh, MLS type description of stuff. Uh, basically just showcasing uh, the photos of the home, right? So some of you may also have like a video walkthrough that you've done of the property. Uh, that's another great thing to put in here. You can upload that video, um, but I would post this inside the, uh, the post. And then what I would also do um, inside, the, um, inside the description, let me edit this. So in here, I would also put uh, C photos inside the event post. That way people know that there's additional photos once they go inside that they can see the rest of the, of the rest of the property, right? So that gives them a good reason to get excited to come check out the property. And uh, so that creates the event itself. Now, the next piece of this is, um, there's two more pieces. So piece number one, is I wanna be running ads on Facebook, driving people to the event. So I'm going to open up Facebook in another tab here. And I'm gonna to go to the ads manager, just like I would, um, or just like I would go create a brand new ad. And so as I'm creating an ad for this event, the cool thing is Facebook, like I said earlier, has a very specific, um, has a very specific ad for events. So what a lot of people don't realize is if you click on engagement, I can optimize my ad for different things. So it defaults to post engagement, which is people commenting, liking, and sharing. And that's not really what I'm after here. I can default it to getting people to like my page, which is also not what I'm after. But event responses is what I'm after. So I would call this uh, whatever it is, just so I know what it is. I usually use OH for open house. Uh, so that tells me this is an open house ad. So click on next. For my audience, um, I would simply go define who my audience of people I think are going to come see the property. So if, my, if the address I was using was 123 Main Street in Sandy, which is what I had put as the property address right there, then I'm probably gonna do like a 10, maybe a 15 mile radius around the property. Um, frankly, I probably wouldn't do a whole lot more than that because I don't know that people are gonna travel that far just to go to the open house. Uh, for the age, um, I'm thinking about the age range of people that would probably buy this home. So I don't know, 26, 27, um, probably go up to, to 50 or so. So something like that is what I would do for the age targeting. And then I wanna start targeting people that I think are in the market for a home. So people that have, uh, are looking at Zillow, gonna click on suggestions, maybe first time buyers, people going to Trulia, people house hunting, um, homes.com, uh, people that are renters, even though that's one of those statuses that's gonna be going away here shortly. Um, I would also do realtor.com and the like. 
And so you can see that with what I've put in, I've got an audience roughly of an estimated 130,000 people, which is a pretty good audience. So I would leave that. Uh, for the placements, the only place that events show is in the newsfeed. So there's not much editing you need to do there, even though I just like to double check. Uh, for the budget and schedule, again, it's just a matter of how much promotional budget you want to throw at it. So even if I was doing a $5 a day budget, you can see how many people that's going to reach per day. Um, and again, it's up to you. So I would also do an end date. So if I were doing an open house and the event was on Saturday, I would probably run it to Saturday and then I would have the, uh, the ads shut off just before the open house. So I might do something like uh, 10 30 a.m. if I'm doing an 11 o'clock open house so ads will run up to that point and then here it's showing you what, what your total budget would be it is optimizing for event response which is perfect that's exactly what I want and then on the last section you're basically going to uh, tell it which page um, and so the one that I was doing was the one I do for training which is this one and then down here in the events section you're just simply going to go select that open house. So this is the one that we just did. And so you can see where all of the fields come in. I can go ahead and edit anything I want here. But the key thing is see how it says right here going. People can say that either they're going or that they're interested or whatever. And that's when it will remind them of what's going on. So the event or the ad is optimized to get people to click on this box that either they're going to go, they're interested or whatever the case is. And so it becomes a super effective way to be able to market to people and get them driving more and more traffic to your open house. The third and final piece of this is something that I recommend doing the day of the open house, in fact, just before. So when you're getting to the open house, you're setting up your signs, you're getting everything ready to go before the start time, I highly recommend jumping on Facebook and doing a Facebook Live. So a Facebook Live is a live streaming video. And use that just to say, hey, we're here at this open house. Let me do a quick you know, walkthrough and uh, we'd love to come see you and, and have you see it live. So do a quick walkthrough of the property with, the, uh, with your phone. Uh, that Facebook Live, the reason for that is every time you do a Facebook Live, anybody who's liked your page will receive notifications um, that you're doing a live streaming video. And with that, it gives you the ability just to get more promotion for free because Facebook has... Um, it's set in the algorithms of Facebook that they're going to give you more publicity for a live video because they're trying to compete with YouTube and Google for that video space. So that is the entire process for marketing an open house. Um, so it comes down to those three pieces, creating an event, running an ad for event responses, and then doing a Facebook live the morning of, or, you know, just before the open house, again, driving more traffic. So I've seen people use this process to drive lots of traffic to their open house, generating more buyers, more sellers, and it's a very effective way for marketing. So as always, if you're interested in more of our training, uh, go down into the, the comments below. You're going to see a link that will give you a description of our revolutionary agent program where we show people how to generate two transactions per month using Facebook, and it's taking less than three hours of their time per month. So that's always cool. We'd love to have you inside the program. So go ahead and check that out. Also, if you're interested in our one-on-one -on -one consulting services, uh, where we can help you build your entire business on Facebook. Uh, there's a link down there for that as well. So again, thanks for being here. Uh, again, give us a like, give us a comment, let us know uh, how we're doing and, and what we can do to help you market your business. Thanks, take care, and we will talk to you soon.